Now, there's so many myths about slavery, it's hard to know where to begin. But definitely I'm going to talk about the slave ship Brooks, uh, which held about 454 Africans, if you could believe that, which obviously I don't. And I think most intelligent people do not. But the thing is that it's widely distributed as, you know, something of fact, you know, which is ridiculous. You know, and uh, it was distributed by abolitionists in order to get rid of uh, slavery, you know, but the thing is that why are you lying about it? You understand? That's what you have to ask yourself. Well, why are you lying and saying that this is what occurred when it didn't occur? I mean, 454 slaves, you know, uh, you have to feed them and, and the crew. That's a lot of provisions, a lot of provisions. And most of them would die off because you have them too cramped and too close together and you know like bathroom conditions are going to be very difficult so there's going to be a lot of diseases a lot of them are going to die how does that make any sense you know and it's been proven that you know or or it's very suspicious that they uh that they're telling lies because like um they say that the image portrays 487 slaves while on the voyage prior to when the measurements were taken to the ship held 638 persons, the next journey, 744, and the journey following the measurements, 609. Okay, they say the planking as depicted on the outside of the ship is disproportionately too thick. Now, stowage of slaves on multiple layers of decks does not allow for storage of water and provisions. You know, which was the common practice. Like, of course, you have to, because it's totally propaganda. I mean, throughout throughout um, slavery, there's a lot of propaganda. So that's the thing. You have to decide, like, what is propaganda and what is actually the truth. You understand? Because there's people who just did not like slavery because it was a competing economic system to um, the 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 capitalist system, the free market. It was totally different system. So there was uh, a need to destroy one in order to put forward the other one you understand and that's what it was all about okay now also there was no deck hatches uh are illustrated only small ladders there would be no way for the ship to load and unload provisions which is ridiculous especially for the legs of the voyages with no slaves aboard you know despite these flaws this image has become the one most used to depict conditions on slave ship over that of many other more accurate images. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous. You know, obviously there's a problem with that story, you know, and then you have to ask yourself, well, if that's the case, well, what else are they lying about? What else are they misleading us about? You know, because that's the thing about abolitionists, you know, they took the small parts of uh, slavery and then they they smeared it as the whole you know and that's not the case that's just it's just it's just huge propaganda and they're just totally lying about slavery and they always make black people seem that we're ineffectual we don't know what we're doing and our history is so 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 worthless and we don't have much of a history we were savages this is the constant narrative that comes out of you know these these people that want to make us look like like dogs you know it's really annoying i don't like it you know and there's other things i could talk about about slavery that there's a myth about but this is one i wanted to definitely focus on because it's also like as i said it's a business like slavery in a sense was a business you know so it's like why would you risk damaging your property you understand like a huge amount of your property that you acquired <laughs> is going to be destroyed okay because you didn't secure it properly it's like getting a whole bunch of flat screen tvs from africa and then you know that there's going to be you know severe storms or you know waves and you know there's going to be problems and the tvs are going to be smashing against one another so you should secure them and make sure that doesn't happen or very few of those tvs are smashed but yet you don't care you know you're just going to do whatever and then when you get there you know a huge chunk of your your property is destroyed that makes no sense whatsoever but yet this is what they want to portray as 
how how things were back in the day, how rough black people had it back in the day. They don't even tell you that, you know, white people coming to America, there's like uh, thousands or millions of white people that died. You think white people didn't die uh, through voyages from, even if they were coming, uh, even if they weren't slaves, you know, if they were coming here, you know, there was quite a white people, a, a lot of white people that died because of the voyage, you know, the diseases, rickets, all those problems that they had. But yet somehow, you know, they always talk about black people that have, uh, that are just, you know, have all this misfortune, you know, and uh, it's just, it's just so disheartening.